Welcome back guys. Today I want to talk about the N55 rod bearing issue and whether it is an issue for the N55 or if it's just hyped up on the internet. Now I own the N55 powered BMW motor, the M235i which is the EWG and I got to know a lot of N55 owners. I got to know my local mechanic which you will if you own a BMW outside of warranty and I'm an engineer and I like doing deep dives into engines I like knowing what I own N55 is a straight six turbo motor it came out in around 2009 and it replaced the N54 before it which was a twin turbo motor the N55 is a twin scroll single turbo motor and the N54 was quite problematic and the N55 came out with the PWG version, that was the first version, and it was a little less problematic than the N54, but it still had a fair few problems in that original version. Biggest issue of the N55 motor, which is rod bearings. Now, a lot of you guys may not realize, but rod bearings has been a common occurrence on BMW motors for a long time. The S54 M3 had it, the S85 has it, the S65 has it, the N54 not so much, but a bunch of BMW motors had rod bearing issues. Bottom end has never been a great strong suit for BMW motors. And the N55 unfortunately does have this issue, right? Is it a common occurrence? I would not say it's common, but it is an occurrence. And if it does occur, it is going to be very costly, obviously, a full engine replacement or a rebuild. So, you know, it almost doesn't matter how common it is. I would say it's common enough because the consequences are major. For the M2 motor, the rod bearing issue isn't a big deal because it has suction oil pickup, oil baffling. But for PWG motors, it is a big issue. EWG motors tend to not suffer so much. How do you get rod bearing failure? Rod bearings are basically just your contact point between your crankshaft journal and your rods, right? They're a bearing, a metal or a coated layer, and then it's got a thin layer of oil. There should never be metal on metal or surface to surface contact. There should always be a bit of oil between it, right? And when you get surface to surface contact, then the rod bearings can spin, which means they bind on to your crankshaft journal and your engine pretty much goes bye-bye. So that's the basic uh, in and out of rod bearing failure. Now, why does it happen on the N55? Well, guys, the N55 is very sensitive to something called a priming procedure. And it's especially sensitive because it has various issues that require a priming procedure, right? Back in the day when people got the N55, the oil filter housing started leaking and a lot of people would just take their BMW in the garage and not prime up their engine, right? And turn it on and guess what? Within probably a few hundred kilometers, the rod bearings would go, right? Your engine would fail, would be out of warranty. It's done, game over. It was so bad, the priming issue, that BMW finally figured it out and released a technical bulletin to remind people to prime their motor. Now, this doesn't have to be its best practice actually for all engines, but it doesn't have to be done in the B58 and other motors. They're not as sensitive, but the N55 was, and the N55 loved leaking from the oil filter housing gasket. And obviously, if you change your oil pump, you have to do something like that as well. So that's the number one reason I think that a lot of N55 motor rod bearings fail. Then there's another reason. The other reason is tracking, right? Now, BMW M Lite motors have never been and still aren't designed for high G turns or for track use, right? They don't have the right baffling, right oil pickup. And because of that, if you take them out, if you brake hard into corners, long sweeping bends and take turns, you can get oil starvation and ruin your rod bearings, right? And then the third thing is really donuts, right? If you're doing donuts, which these M cars are not made for, or M light cars are not really made for, right? They um, they don't even have limited slip differentials. If you're doing donuts, you can do your rod bearings pretty quickly. So guys, is it an issue? Yes, definitely. And unfortunately these days, you don't know what someone's done with it, right? Was someone doing donuts before you bought your N55? Was someone tracking it? Did someone do an oil filter housing gasket replacement and not prime up the engine? We just don't know, guys. And that's why N55 and rod bearings are synonymous. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, I'm planning to do a deep dive into BMW's B58 and B48 motors. I'm going to cover off more issues with the N55 as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.